working on the name Regina from my favorite um, <coughs> ABC channel um, television series, Once Upon a Time. Anyway, today I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, when you should wash your hair. And I'm saying, I'm talking about this because my hair, I did these twists. And then I did some like um, bantu knots up here, but I put it off to the side because it became really dry and brittle feeling. It was making me, un ma making me uncomfortable, so I kind of wanted to protect it a little bit. Um, I washed my hair, I think, Saturday, and I s I've been styling it because I tried this new thing. It's a Shine and Jam Conditioning Gel. The thing what I noticed is this kind of takes a bit of a toll on my hair. I need to wash it more often, I guess, because of the buildup. <coughs> so, um, today I just want to talk about um, how kind of like you need to take certain things into account when trying to figure out how often you need to wash your hair. You don't want to wash it too often because it strips your hair. You don't want to wash it too little because then there will be a lot of product build up and then it will get stuck in the follicles and you know prevent your hair from growing as fast as it could. So uh, I found this article online. It's, um, I was just googling you know um, how to figure out when I can wash my hair. And I went to naturalhairrules.com and um, apparently there are four factors that you really should take into account. There's schedule, lifestyle, product, and climate, which that makes sense. For the schedule, it says, you know, finding time to wash your hair may be a bit hectic, especially for some of the women who have very long hours of uh, the washing process. Um, anyway, <coughs> the next one is lifestyle. There are many naturals who frequently who frequently work out. There are athletes who need to wash their hair more often, and let's not forget the swimmers who are forever washing chlorine out of their hair. There are women who have chronic illnesses who may not wash their hair as often or have to wash more often. Seriously, these are real issues to consider. So, you know, if you work out, you do realize that your whole head does sweat. And if you work out, very um, awesomely, I cannot think of the word, if you work out in a hardcore way, your hair is going to get sweaty and damp and puffy at the end, I mean, well, at the roots. So you need to take that into account, <coughs> you know, if you work out a whole lot, there's a lot of buildup of dirt, sweat in your hair. If you go run out into the, um, if you go run outside and you live in the inner cities, there's a lot of pollution. There's a lot of nasty ass dirt floating around. Lots of pollutants that can clog up and fuck with your hair. So take that into account. Then there are products. This one should be easier for you guys to, you know, comprehend as to how it could affect how often you wash your hair. Um, so it says, do you regularly use products that can cause buildup? Are you trying a new style that requires gel that flakes off. Some products we love require more washing due to the product buildup. And then she says, if I want slick back hair for a dramatic look, I have to use Slather Eco Styler Gel on. Now I know I've got to wash it the very next day. So if you use gel, you got to wash your hair. So that's pro I didn't really take that into account when I started using this. I start I used this probably Today is Wednesday, probably three days ago, so I guess it is time for me to wash it, although it's it's not flaky, it's, uh, there's no alcohol in it, it's a less than harmful gel, but because <coughs> um, I already had one product on my hair, I actually had this product on my hair before I bought it. Well, I had that, and then I got that, and I put it on my hair. 
So that's probably a build up. And then I applied this about two or three times because it really wouldn't set, probably because of the product I had on it before. So that, that would make a whole lot of sense as to why my hair is lifeless and it's stiff and dry and just doesn't feel right anymore. So gotta wash my hair in the middle of the week. That is the last, that is not when I want to wash my hair, honestly. Anyway, <coughs> the next one says climate. Some of us live in some of us live in smog riddled cities and wanting to keep the pollutants out of our hair is a constant reality. Some naturals living in humid climates may be sweating more in their hair and feel washing more often as necessary. In the winter or in colder climates, naturals may wash their hair less often due to the dry nature of the weather. That can go for windy climates as well. Your geographical locale may determine when and how often you choose to wash your hair so never count out the climate you live you live in when considering a washing cycle. I live towards I live very much near the sea. So, um it's very humid a lot. You know, even during our winter days, there's still days where it is hot as hell and I'm like, it is freaking winter. Why are you hot? Sun, why are you here? So, yeah. And those are the four things you should take into account when trying to decide when you should wash your hair. Climate, products, lifestyle, and scheduling. That all makes sense. So now that I am using... I like this song. Now that I am using a different product, I may have to wash my hair a little earlier than once a week. And no, I'm still going to try and keep it for once a week. Um, anyway, thank you for listening, and I will be sure to post updates about my hair more often. Well, not more often, but if I ever, you know, come into something new to talk about or a new style, I will definitely post that for you, my viewers. Anyway, I hope you guys live a long and prosperous life acing your hair. Thank you for watching, and peace out.